With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, so here in this question it is given that four forces are acting on a body as shown in this uh, particular figure. The magnitude of the resultant of the forces is okay. So here we need to find out the magnitude of the resultant forces. So if you look into this particular diagram, okay. So we have uh, four directional, uh, four different uh, forces with the forces value is also given here as a uh, 20n. 50n 30n and 40n so with uh, with their respective angles uh, 53 53 37 and 53 like that okay so uh, from this figure the value of the fx uh, can be written as fx will be equals to f1 into g of 37 degrees plus f2 into sine 53 degrees okay so we will write uh, fx value from this uh, particular equation we will write fx uh, will be equals to f1 into g37 plus f2 into sin 53 degrees minus f3 into f3 into sin uh, 53 degrees minus f4 as we have four forces inside this graph so f4 value is also considered here so f4 into sin 53 degrees okay so we can uh, simplify this equation and write it as 50 into 4 divided by 5 plus 30 plus sorry uh, multiplied 4 divided by 5 plus 30 into 4 divided by 5 4 divided by 5 minus 40 into 4 divided by 5 minus 2 into sorry 30 as the value of the f4 is 30 so 30 into f4 divided by 5 okay so we will take common of uh, 4 divided by 5 and write it as 50 plus 30 minus 40 minus minus 20 okay so these are the four different uh, forces that we have in the graph okay so according to that 4 divided by 5 is equals to uh, sorry 4 divided by 5 multiplied with 20 so we will get 16 n so this is the value of the fx okay so according to that we need to find out the fy value as well okay so fy value can be written as fy will be equals to f1 into sin 37 degrees plus f2 sorry f4 into uh, g into 53 g into 53 degrees minus f2 into g 53 degrees minus f3 into g 53 degrees okay so if we simplify this equation we will we can write 50 into 3 divided by 5 plus 20 into 3 divided by 5 minus 30 into 3 divided by 5 minus 40 into 3 divided by 5 so we will take the 3 divided by 5 as common again so we will get 50 plus 20 minus uh, we will take directly it as a minus 70 only minus 30 and minus 40 so that will be equals to zero so in order to find out the value of the resultant force magnitude of the resultant force we will write under root of f x square plus uh, f y square okay so we have the both the values actually so which is under root of 16 square minus and uh, 16 square plus under root of 0 square okay so that will be equals to 16 n is the resultant uh, magnitude of the uh, magnitude of the resultant force so out of this four options we have option a 16 newtons option a is the correct answer for this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today